Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got the Delta Force 35 back on the block. I just uh, actually got done pulling out TP Power 4070. Replaced it with a TP Power 4050, 2300 KV, that we're going to give it a shot later on in the video, kind of go out and test run it. I just got this Hobby Star water jacket in the mail for the 4050 uh, and I wanted to do a comparison of water jackets for you guys quick comparison while I got the two TP 4060s out with different water jackets kind of go over some of my opinions so some of my experiences over the years with different water jackets and uh yeah 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 so stick around stick around don't blink don't blink Big B here with Ironclad RC opinions are like assholes everybody's got one my opinion you see how this this jacket here has a big flanged lip on it uh, that basically is telling me that this water jacket holds a little bit more water than this water jacket this water jacket has a small flange okay when the water jackets on on the motor itself the outside of the can is closer less water quicker moving faster moving flow with this one has, holds more water in my opinion the flow is going to be slower so the water don't get out quite as fast as it would with a jacket similar to this. Okay, uh, Hobby Star, which is what this is. This is their long, 40 long, and this is their 40 short. All right. Now their 40 short, I think it's like 56 millimeters long, where whereas a normal 40 short would be 40 50 long, 50 millimeters long. So you get a little bit more, little more water cooling. So now you can see what I'm talking about with the water jacket. See how close it is to the motor. See how this one's like far away. It's got a big flange on it. See how this one's a little more low profile. This one's not. See that? So yeah, I like these Hobby Star jackets. They're nice looking too. They're, they're nice and streamlined. If you're having some issues with heat on your boat and you're running a big bulky high volume uh, water jacket like this maybe think about switching to a little lo lower profile jacket and you might get a little better cooling it don't have to be hobby star you know just look at the little flanged area on your jackets here and that'll kind of give you an idea of how much water is going to be in the water jacket you know so you could compare uh, different jackets uh, let me know let me know what you guys think in the comments if you have any experiences with those larger water jackets and you've gone to a lower profile jacket if you had any better success you know let me know what you guys think or if you have any experiences with with this aspect you know share share it with us comment oh man what if we had three of them in there huh <laughs> all right so let's see uh let's see what it sounds like let's see what it sounds like <coughs> <Ooh. laughs> it's the first time i've run this motor <coughs> Sounds good. We'll see you at the lake. I'm going to be doing a couple prop changes, checking temperatures, stuff like that today. I've had a little issues with my cameras here lately, so I haven't been posting a lot of videos. But we're back on track. Back on track. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Let's see if we can make it out of here without hitting any weeds. Oh man, she runs good with this prop. Run it a couple more minutes. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it kind of hard. Kind of bash it. See what the temperatures are on 4S. See how, that's how I like my boat to run. I like it to run out the water. Man, she's running good since I cut that prop down. Wow. It was a 450. I cut it down to a 448 or so. Man, she's running good. So yeah, the next video we're going to do tuning tips. Tuning for, uh, for the beginners for mono hull. Trim tab, strut, weight, everything. Do my best to explain it to you guys. Help you out. Man, she's running good. 
All right, so uh, that was about a minute or so. Let's check the temp. I was basically giving it full throttle. Like I said, I don't have any tape on my boat so I can go back and forth, check the temps while I'm testing it. Now we're gonna throw on a little smaller prop, kind of see what the temps are, if it's any cooler, kind of know my limitations with this boat, what I can do with it. So 120, all right, so I was running it hard. ESC 124. All right, so that's telling me that this prop's too big for this boat. The prop's too big, okay? That's why my temperatures are high. Like I said, it's a cut down 450. So let's put it like a four, 440 on. Always good to start off with a small prop. I kind of did it backwards, but uh, I'm checking temps. Let's see see what it's doing so this is a 440 TFL 440 oh it runs good with a 440 on it yeah smaller props gonna put less load on the motor and ESC I think my remote battery is going low. A little, a little more delay than usual. No power cuts. Let's check the temp. 104. So, so that 450 is a little bit too big for this boat. You see the temperature difference, 95 with the small prop on it, and, uh, 100 and 120 after running it hard with the big prop. So, so this with the smaller motor, she's gonna uh, she's gonna like a, a a smaller propeller, like in 40 to 48 millimeter props low lift props all right so let's, let's run it again don't have the takeoff that it had with the 450 But you can run this boat hard with this smaller prop and won't, and won't damage the electronics. She's on top of the water, playing out nice. If I wanna go out and have a day of like, uh, you know, just running the boat hard, I'd put a smaller propeller on. Yeah, that Hobby Star water jacket's ticket, y'all. I love them water jackets. It run good. It run good with this 450 in it. Run real good. Super, super stoked to have this smaller motor in it. I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, overheating the ESC, overworking the ESC with a with that high current draw motor I had in here, that 4060. That thing pulls a lot of current. A lot For of current. The, For the Fly Color 150, that, that TP Power 4050, that's the ticket that thing is that's the ticket that's a good motor all right so i'm gonna actually put the um this octura m 447 on this is a little bit more high lift propeller uh, i usually don't run this propeller with this boat i like the x series for my mono hull keeps the back of the boat uh down in the water all right, so this is a lifting prop, so she's probably gonna chine walk a lot. So I've got it trimmed out of the water to run a little dry. All right, so this is a 3200 milliamp, 100 C pack. Oh, wow. A lot higher discharge.
Yeah, this is that lift and prop. I can tell a difference in the boat boat's ride. See how she's skipping along, running out of the water. Ooh, about lost her. This boat's fun on 4S. Just kind of seeing what where I'm at with the with the with the motor and what size props I can run on this boat and how long I can run them for. It's the best way to tell. 114, so that's within operating range. It's on the on the high high threshold there. 118 on the ESC. 120 on the wires. So she's still pulling a little more power than what I was expecting that motor to pull from this ESC. To be honest with you, she's still pulling a lot more power than I was hoping. But we're getting the performance. We're getting the performance that I want with a smaller motor. You know? I wanted to go up with this strut. One twelve, ninety five, one fifteen. So that's with the four forty eight propeller on with the TP forty fifty. I just wanted to kind of show you guys a couple of the differences in water jackets. Kind of give you my opinion on water jackets. If you're having some heat issues with your boat, you know you could uh, you could try to switch to a lower profile water jacket, and it may cool your boat down. A little better for you yeah thank you guys for watching big b with ironclad rc a channel where we tinker test and tune everything rc we'll see you guys next time